Management zones are an important concept and have many uses in precision farming. Because of the numerous ways to create and use management zones, the following tutorials will demonstrate different methods for the creation and implementation of zones. Before we start, it is important to understand the difference between field boundaries and management zones. A common mistake for those first getting involved in precision ag is to confuse field boundaries with management zones. That is, as users enter a field boundary into a mapping program, they chop their field boundary into management zones. Remember that we define a field boundary as the largest extent of the cultivated part of a field. A field boundary, by and large, will remain the same from season to season. Management zones, however, will change according to the nature of the zone. For our first example, we will create management zones from the Sergo soil type layer. Note that management zones can only be created from polygon layers. To create a management zone, click on the four colored Create Management Zone icon. The map layer must be active, that is, highlighted in gray, in order to create a management zone from the map layer. Clicking the Create Management Zone icon, we are then taken into the Management Zone editor. <laughs> 